I, I'm so I need to check something. There's still gas in it. There's still freaking gas in it, dude. And the oil. Oh, interesting. I wonder if you can get more oil out of these. Probably you can. Is there an oil setting on this thing? Would have been nice to have a little bit more oil. But that could be, uh, I don't know. Is there, is there an oil? Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, good. I'll check into that. Those are big cuts, friends. <laughs> Bigger than the bar or the 16-inch bar. That thing freaking cuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. If you're, if you're a fool like me, friends, and you drag your stuff across the ground once in a while, make sure you check it before you put it away. All your clasps, because they'll get rocks in them. And it's just not smart to do that. Uh, and, and I've never claimed to be smart here once. So, check them all. These seem to be good. Never even used the rope. The Weaver, friends. I, I gotta be honest. This thing, I don't even know. It is a, a couch. It's a couch. And, huh? Just wrap up your gear. Just get it done. Get it over with. Right when you come out of the tree, wrap it up. Wrap it up now, baby. Just wrap up your picks like that. Tree climbing ain't nothing, friends. Don't think it's a bunch of a bunch of witchcraft. It's not. You were born to climb trees. You're a freaking monkey. Don't worry about it. Just go. Get the strap on and go. See what's going on here? I'll show you something. Watch what I'm talking about here. Our biggest chunk, our longest chunk, was that one right there. It landed dead square flat. The next biggest one has to be a little smaller to land flat because you're lower to the ground. There's our next one. Boom. On the ground, it's, it's shorter than that one. Our next chunk was that one, which will be a little shorter yet. And there's our last one that we just flopped off because I wanted the stem in here without like smacking into this bank and cracking timber. I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to take an extra piece and that's why I just let it fly in the back cut. But if you had a wasted fuel on that job, like if you had to just let your saw, I let your hip the whole time, probably would have been a different story for you. You might, you got to get smart when you're working alone. Look at this. Look at, see, there's actually a little bit of fuel left in it. Not a lot, but the point is, well, you guys can see here, here it is. You see, you can barely see it there. Is this one of them see-through tanks? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is, right there. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, the drifter. Indeed it is. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, it's not the morning, actually. It's the, it's the evening, and I'm doing a video. I'm making a video in the, in the, in the evening. Uh, so that I can get it up earlier. It just, it, it opens my day up a bit. I'm, I'm changing the schedule, trying to a little bit. You'll notice my videos are all over, but that's just life. When you're bucking, when you're this guy. That's a nice hat. Christine's got them coming up on the website very quickly. Um, two seconds. <laughs> I've been wanting to run my 70, the Tin Man Super Pro 70 that he just made wake up like crazy. If you've had a, if you've ever run, uh, say, a, I think it's a CL70 or a, a Mac, the, the 700s were scary. The, the, the 710s and the 700s were scary. But for some reason, the Super Pro 70, even the 80, uh, I haven't found to be that crazy. The 850s obviously are wonderful. The Super Pro 81s are rip snorter. But there's something about the Super Pro 70 that just didn't get whatever it was 
like the other ones. If, if anybody's experienced that, let me know in the comments. Check it out down there. You know what I'm saying down below. Um, this saw completely changed. He, he, we know he's over intaked it. We, we laugh about it. I said, just go to town on the sucker. I've got a couple more of them. Let's see what we can do. Friends, listen to the saw. It screams. This is the perfect size wood for it, but the muffler's loose. It's rattling like crazy. There's something up with it, but it, it, I just love running these old Max. I try to bring them in now and again and you know, if I'm if I'm not on a, a crazy production job needing to get rolling. So there'll be more of that this year. Um, and I got the 572 out for a run. Oh, indeed I did. That'll be coming up very quickly. Enjoy this little run of the Mac. It's just a few bucks here. <laughs> Tin Man, I know you and I have discussed this saw and talked about this saw a lot. I think you've underestimated this thing. This thing screams. You did something to this that changed it drastically. These weren't known for, the, for what this thing's got now. He, you brought the revs way up and the thing cuts. If you know how to put a chain on a saw and get it cutting, this is a ripper. A, that's freaking, a, that's a 32 inch bar Tin Man. My friend, the Tin Man! Can you hear that, friends? That freaking saw sizzles. I love it. Hey, buddy, what size am I cutting this firewood? Do you want to ask your mom for me? Does that look about right? What? What size am I cutting your firewood? About 14, 15, like that, buddy? That's uh, about pretty much what you guys burn, eh? Uh, yeah. About that size is good? Yeah. You maybe sure? a little shorter. Hey? Maybe a little shorter. A little shorter than that? 
Because, like, we have a pretty tiny Can you grab me a piece of your firewood and bring it to me? Thanks, buddy. Friends, uh, I like around 30 degrees on my rakers. You know, I don't I don't like them super duper hungry when you got bigger wood and this and that. And you want to just be able to work the saw. The hungrier your raker, the more you're flicking wood and, and taxing the motor. But a stand up and buck saw is nice to have a little hungrier raker. Maybe 35 would be nice. 35 thou.
So friends, what I meant back there is if you've got a super, super sharp chain, like a square grind, or you're really hot on the round file, your, your rakers can be a little higher with a full house chain. Now, this is what I mean by a fallen chain. You do not want hard, low rakers on a fallen chain. This thing's just, especially undercutting and back cutting. Mm-hmm. 
So you'll probably notice that there's no wood on top of the brush, okay? The brush is ready to just be hand manhandled by anybody. Woman, child, small infant, man, strong woman, white, brown, polka dotted, pink, native, German. <laughs> Friends, let's all get to freaking get along. Can we please? I just, yeah, honestly, friends, let's just, we're all the same, for crying out loud. We all bleed red. So here it is. There it is. Excuse me. There's that limb that I, that I was saving out right there. There's that big cluster. It was actually a tree, friends. It was a whole nother tree, that little guy. That's the one I was saving out. Could you imagine if I destroyed them limbs and peeled them off? Would look terrible. The only limb that got a little bit scanglied, a little bit scanglied, friends, was that one that, that I actually saved right there. You could see it. I actually saved it when I started climbing the tree. Look at that beautiful maple tree, friends. So I'm super tickled. Brush is all in one spot. Stem is right over on the side of the side of the brush. You roll it off, start splitting it. Thanks for hanging around. Catch you on the next video. Work hard, be honest, price your jobs, so that you can make some dough and stay in business, treat your customers with freaking more respect instead of giving them some crazy high bid and then coming back later and say, oh, I screwed up. I've done that. I have, so I understand it. I've only priced about a thousand freaking tree jobs over the years. So it, it's okay, but just, you know, be humble. Be, you know, if you, if you make a mistake, just say, hey, you know what? I was flying around. And, and if that's what you guys did here, then kudos to you. But they didn't spend any money here because the buck and army which i said seven years ago on youtube i looked right into the camera like i'm looking at you right now and i said youtube's gonna help me cut trees for free that's what i said the recipient program these are recipients every tree job you see every time i cut larry yesterday all because of you people watching this video it is that's it i haven't invoiced anybody in about four years some people donate to the, to the uh, people who won't accept it and they want to pay something. I say, let's give something to the food bank. Or the, or the homeless or something like that. So we do that freaking steady. I don't go off about it because it sounds foolish doing it all the time. And I don't need no pat in the back. But there's people here that have been here a long time and they know where this thing began and they probably know where it's going to end. Anyways, I'm shooting off. I feel great today. I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty, pretty snickety. Over and out. Be kind.